The word of the day today is politics. Every time I say the word politics, a punk rocker soils themselves. The American political system is revving up and the conversations are just getting more and more charged as we head towards November 5th, which is vote day. So you know Haley Williams used her time at the iHeart Radio Fest to voice her concerns against Donald Trump. Everybody's allowed to say whatever they want, I don't care, it is all just a bunch of cringe because the political thing is just a carnival at this point. Politicians are essentially professional wrestlers without the baby oil. Hell, at this point, they're P. Diddy without the baby oil. So we're gonna headbutt this drama with our bare foreheads, but before we do, hi, hello, welcome, my name is Dan Frampton, and I am the originator of Progressive Death Emo. No, but really, I just like to make good old-fashioned traditional YouTube videos in the second room in my apartment. And if you comment on this video within the first three hours of it going up, I will reply. And we're talking politics today, so you know I've braced myself for the kind of comments I'm about to receive and all the subs I'm about to lose. And quite frankly, I'm here for it. I love it all. So as the great Olivia Newton-John once said, let's get going. Whoa, jump scare. <laughs> that, that's Taylor Swift. I don't really want to talk about Taylor Swift on this channel, but unfortunately, today's story is kind of going to start contextually with Taylor Swift and her endorsement of Kamala Harris. Before our heads are battered, bruised, and bleeding like Bruiser Brody's over here, I got to give you at least a little bit of my political stance, okay? I think politicians are all weasels no matter what side of the aisle they're on. Left, right, politicians cannot be trusted. They are just saying whatever they think the public needs to hear to get voted for. On the other side of that, people riding for politicians are just as brain dead. I understand that people have things that matter to them and the only way for them to get them in life is to vote for the people that are promising them the thing that they want. But nine chances out of 10, they're not gonna get the thing that they want regardless. But it's a circus. Every four years, we go through the same song and dance. Celebrities and other politicians throwing their name in the hat for who they want to be voted for come November 5th. And the outcome is gonna be the same. Evil, imperialistic bull Either you're gonna get red flavor or blue flavor. And me personally, just so you know, I am on the left side of things if I'm gonna get down to brass tacks. Not gonna break it down policy by policy, but generally speaking, that's what you're dealing with when you deal with a guy like me. But after Taylor Swift endorsed Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris's opponent, Donald Trump, just had to put out this tweet. Uh, I know it's not on Twitter or called a tweet. It's on Truth Social, I think that's uh, where it is. Donald Trump's very own social network. I hate Taylor Swift, he says in all caps locks with the exclamation point. You gotta love to see it. Now normally politicians don't come out and say that they hate the people that endorse their opponent, but here we are, and the reason why this one is like kind of a political move is because of how big Taylor Swift is and how massive of a turn her endorsement could be for Kamala Harris. So to put out something so charged, to put out this kind of like rage baity type tweet is going to be the thing that's going to rile up his core fan base to begin with. But when you're looking at the politics, especially when you're getting close to the vote day, it is just like a shit slinging festival, a competition even. I don't know how anybody believes any of this stuff that any of these people are saying. It's crazy. Everybody's throwing their name in the hat and to Today we're here to talk about Haley Williams of the band Paramore. Now, Paramore just came off touring with Taylor Swift. They were the opening band on the Eras tour. Oh yeah, I'm an opinion guy, so I gotta give you my opinion over here as well on their music. I don't like Taylor Swift's music. I find her boring. Her songs, her catalog, and her lore are more like a soap opera, and that's okay. I'm cool with soap operas. I like wrestling, and sometimes I even like soap operas. So as far as Taylor Swift is concerned, don't really consider her an artist. I don't really consider her music songs. She's more of like an episodic TV show that plays out over eras. Love interests come and go. There's items, there's dates, there's places, there's events. It's lore, it's a story, and that's the whole appeal with Taylor Swift from as far as I can tell. I'm not really compelled or captivated 
by her story. It's all very basic stuff. But she's managed to capture the imagination of literally like 95% of people, so good on her, I guess. Paramore, I've never been tremendously into, but I like them a whole lot more than I like Taylor Swift. I'd say by like three or four football fields. Paramore kind of came up in the pop punk side of things, but now they're definitely more of like an indie pop rock kind of band. And iHeartRadio had their little festival, and Haley Williams had a lot to say. Now, if I were to play this clip in full, I know I would get copyright claimed. I know iHeartRadio has copyright stamps all over their content like absolute crazy, but good thing YouTube has the feature of transcribing it. So I'm going to read the transcription over here and just pretend that I have like a Haley Williams voice over here. Project 25 is Donald Trump's playbook for controlling and punishing women, poor people, people of color in the LGBTQ plus community. It's time for all Americans to band together and finally defeat the Trump agenda. And the only way to do that is by confronting him at the polls. Do you want to live in a dictatorship? I didn't think so, so show up and vote, you dumb stupid idiots. I may have ad-libbed a couple words in there, but that was essentially the message. Now socially, I ride for all those groups of people. Women, poor people, people of color, LGBTQ plus community. I want all of those communities to thrive. Therefore, I kind of endorse this message, I just hate the ham-fisted way that it's being presented. If this was just like out of the blue, someone coming out and just saying this kind of thing, then hell yeah, you say this kind of thing. But because we're getting so close to the election, it just comes across as fake, empty, and performative, unfortunately. And coming on and doing this kind of thing, I know you think that it like rallies the troops, but it kind of does the opposite. Even people that are on your side, even people that are in your camp are like, oh, yo, that's kind of cringe, dude. What are you doing? And then the right wing people are just going to hurl shit at it no matter what anyway. But there are a few groups of people out there that will share this because they're also involved in like the political discourse. Maybe they're like blinded by the whole thing. Maybe they're like, yeah, the troops are being rallied, Haley Williams. Let's go defeat Donald Trump. And believe me, I don't want to live in a world where Donald Trump has any power over anybody or anything. The guy is a buffoon. The guy is an absolute joke. He is a disgrace to every system ever. There are two seasons of The Apprentice that are half worth watching, and that's all that he's brought to humanity. So it really wouldn't matter. Donald Trump could go up against literally everybody, and I'm going to be rooting for whoever isn't Donald Trump in the fight. And I'm not stupid. I know that his base is strong, and his fans are going to ride or die for him at any given time. So that fact alone, I know is what compels people to give messages like this, this kind of like rock raw raw speech and maybe it's for the benefit maybe the more raw raw speeches we get the tide will turn but the way that i'm seeing it right now the way that it looks to me from my perspective is no matter what happens we are definitely 100 percent going to be living in a world where donald trump former president and current felon is going to be running the most powerful country in the world yet again. America's absolutely cooked and broken down there. What the hell is going on where this guy's even allowed to run again? But he is, and at the very end of the day, at least I can find it funny. At least I can tune in and be like, oh my god, look at the state of affairs over here, would ya? And politically, it's not much better in Canada. I wouldn't even say it's better at all. The political system up here is just a total joke as well. All the people running, all the people in power, all the people doing everything up here are just as cringe. It's just not as high profile. We don't have names like Haley Williams, Taylor Swift, Donald Trump, some of the most famous people in the entire world running for office and endorsing public office as well. It's crazy. What happened to like throwing up your middle fingers? What happened to saying fuck you government and throwing the proverbial brick? Why are we all licking boots all of a sudden? And the Trump supporters are like, yeah, we are the anti-culture. We are the counterculture. We aren't boot lickers. Meanwhile, they're just like licking as many boots as possible. So get your tongue off the leather and start thinking for your own damn self. Tell politicians to go stick it up their own ass. Vote for the policies and not for the people, but know that the people are just promising policies that they're not going to deliver anyway. But if you want your hand in the system, go ahead, I guess. Freedom of speech and whatnot, you know, say what you want to say. But when I say freedom of speech, that just means what you say isn't going to get you thrown in jail. It might get your comment deleted under this video if you're that much of an asshole. But if you're going to be an asshole, at least be funny. 
Please be funny. If you're just a jerk without the joke, then it's nothing, bro. Your words aren't gonna hurt me, no matter how hurtful you think you are. So bring some humor. And if you can't do that, well then you're devoid of anything worthwhile as a human being, and good day, sir. That's the juice, that's the gossip, that's the tea, and that's my opinion on the whole thing. Let me know your opinion down there. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I have a slop channel, I have a video game channel, all of those links will be at the end. Until my next upload, watch another upload. Okay, see you later, and have a good one.